Recently I've been getting a lot of comments about Sparky saying he's one of pe people's favourites. I've come down the stairs this morning to this. How in any way is that comfortable? That's all you wanted, isn't it? Happy Thursday, bro. Attack the camera, bro. Attack. Ruff. That's it. It's another absolutely glorious day today in the UK. In the rice box. It's now Thursday. The last video you would have seen was Tuesday. Haven't trained since Sunday. A lot of people after the Open, I've seen like Davis daughter took a week off, Team JST took a week off. I think this week is my week to take off. For some of you that may remember the Rainhill Trials video, my upper back um, started to twinge again. My knee. Basically my body's telling me that it just needed a rest. Speaking of Rainhill, I will be there this year with Jazz. Jazz is actually going to be competing in the Evolve RX spot, which is going to be epic. She is unbelievably nervous. But I'm so proud of her. She's got to do the qualifiers, but then we'll see you guys there. Hey Jazz. Oh, you alright? We've come to say hello. Well, I thought we, I thought we had. He's obviously got other... <laughs> no. You know he wants to ride in the car. He always wants to ride in the car. Come on. Today's one's a pretty simple one. We're going to build up to a 5RM on the hang clean with a kind of relative perceived exertion of an 8 to 9. So we're not going all out, all out. The ones have been released for Saturday and one of the workouts is a 5RM hang clean. It's nice to know before you go into a competition what you're going to be close to. And then the wad is a 21-15-9 of bike calories and kettlebell swings. You go. I go, you go, I go. We're doing the 21-15-9 twice, and when you're resting in the middle for recovery, we're gonna run to the end of the street and back, and do 10 burpees over the bar three times. Basically tonight, because we've had three and a half days off, and we're gonna take tomorrow off as well, it's just kind of like, a bit of a sweat on, a bit of a get the body moving, a bit of a body awakener. That's the plan anyway, just have some fun, nice fresh air and just lift and train and do our thing. Better. You see the hip contact on the bar there? Yeah. Much better. Much better, much better, much better. Hurt my lily parts. <laughs> What is going on team? Craig's you back with a short commentary over this video and it's going to show you a three-part complex, a really, really simple one, but it targets such a common problem that I see with people in their cleans in the CrossFit box, especially if they're new to CrossFit. So I know we're not going to change anything overnight or before the competition, but what I wanted to do with Jazz after we built up to the five rep max at kind of 80 or 90% of what we can do, is just work a little bit on a technique. With Jasmine, when the weight gets heavy, as you'll see on the left-hand side, she'll go down into a nice hang position. Weight will be through the middle of her feet, balls of her feet. And then when she comes to extend, the bar will leave her thighs straight away, way before she's got full extension. Because the weight's heavy, what Jasmine wants to do is literally just drop her under the bar as quick as she can. And that's kind of her body's initial reaction. What I did to combat this is just drop the weight a little bit and then do the complex, which is two high hang cleans 
into a hand clean. High hang being from the hip crease, the way you perform it is literally just sink down into your knees a little bit. Again, weight in the balls of the feet and just explode up, concentrating on getting that hamstring and glute activation and bopping the bar up with the hips and then dropping under it. What we're working on with this is just literally muscle memory. So we're programming those glutes, those hamstrings to fire and really putting ourselves in triple extension. So then when we come to do the hand clean, the third rep, that is our body's kind of preferred movement pattern. Now, if I put the photo side by side, you'll see that Jasmine's kind of full extension when the bar leaves her legs early compared to her full extension when she fully extends. It's totally different. You can see that her knees are locked out. She's engaged her glutes and her hamstrings fully. Instead of pulling the bar, she shrugged the bar, which means that she's brought her traps into the movement and it's meant that the bar stayed closer to her body so there's less chance of dropping it. And it just means that if she goes heavier in the future, she's gonna be more efficient. The bar's gonna have more momentum and she's gonna, if she continues to get that full triple extension, she's gonna be able to get the bar a lot higher so she can clean more weight. But obviously this isn't something that you can just program overnight, This, but it's just something to look out for when doing your cleans because I know it's such a common problem, the bar leaving the legs early before getting that full extension. You may be able to get away with it at lighter weights, but when it gets heavier, you need that full range of motion to get the most out of the move. If you did enjoy that commentary and if you are enjoying the video, as always, hit that like button, guys. It really, really does help the channel. And I hope you enjoy the rest of it. We'll talk to you guys later on in the video. Oh, someone's giving me a call. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, so I'll come over. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you, John. You got a new whip? I have. You all right? Now, man, what is this? This is nice. Joss has a new car. BMW M40 diesel. Blue brakes. Yeah. Red interior. Who's a baller? I wish. <laughs> 3.5 litre engine. What do you think, Josh? It actually smells like a gym in here. <laughs> yeah. Is there more to come in? Yeah. Uh, it's a fold out squat rack, so oh, it'll be like against the wall. And, you... nice. and then we're getting a storage thing here, so then all the plates can go on the bottom, all the dumbbells can go on the section. Go, Jazz. How about you got to do? 21, 15, 9? Yeah. So 21 calories on the bike, 21 calories on the bike, 15 calories on the bike, 15 calories on the bike. Right. Here we go, Just get a hench, bro. Yes, bro. I could kill this. Ugh. That's it, Josh. That's all you need, isn't it? What is it in life? Living the dream. Keep that jazzy fizzle. That's one, come on! How are you feeling, Jazzy? Tired. Yeah? Got it done, my leg. Back is horrible. Painted. Good work, Craigie. Right, oh, that's fun. I don't know how you still make up this horrible work, but I still do. <laughs> you make up a workout by putting them together. What rep range is going to hurt, what exercises are going to stink, and then once it's written on the board, you do it. That's how you come up with a workout sometimes. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We, we totally underestimated you, Jess. Welcome back, Joss. It's good to be back. Where did you hit the wall? Like 24 calories. <laughs> <laughs> like, got to 10, I was like, oh, this is all right. 12, yeah, I'm flying. 15, all right, it's getting harder. 24, dead. 
Good job, bro. Blowing. Hot legs. <laughs>